Welcome back to Ladum Lofts. I've just given them some fresh water. I'm just gonna clean the feeders off and I'm gonna feed them up. But I'm just gonna give you a little quick update on the young birds the other week that you've seen. As you know, some of them have already been sent over to the other side now with the hens. But these ones here, I've got a little red in here. This is off me grizzle, which is there. <sighs> I've got a little red one off him and then I've got over this side a grizzle so I've got two grizzles so I'm absolutely made up with them two and um, I've got one grizzle here one red and I've got a grizzle the other side off me other grizzle so I'm made up so I've got two grizzles now I did think this one was going to be a grizzle as well but it ended up turning out to be red but it doesn't matter still lovely colour and to be honest, clothes doesn't really matter when it comes to racing. Over on this side, this is me Carl Herman. And as you can see, he's a nice little look at the side how full he is. He's full to the brim. Nice little white with blue little blue flecks on the end. But lovely little chip. And as you can see there's I'll show you his father. His father's there. And the hen, the hen, if I can find her. There she is, there's the hen. There's the hen there. She's a camo bird, so that's too crossed over. As you can see, she's face a little hen. <laughs> well, so they're going to, she's going to produce me some good birds, them two, I think. And then, storms, babies. As you see, another good mum. Won't take no messing. But here's their little babies. As you can see, the black, just like the dad, with a bit of white on them. But they are lovely birds. Got black feathers coming through here. As you can see, I don't think they're going to be pad. That one's got a little tiny fleck on its there on its face, so. See how they get on. But that's Storm and the father to these two is here. No, it's not. He is. That's him. That's him there. It's the father to them. Lovely beard. Absolutely lovely bird. He's a Lambrecht. And then I've got these two in here, which is two camos. And these are getting on well, these two. These will be getting fun over in the next few days. Get them a few more days on him. A few more days in here, and then we'll transfer them over. Maybe another week or so. A week, give it a week, so we'll transfer them over. And then I've got all these ones are now gone, all, all sent over to the other side. And I've got a little pair in here, which I'm absolutely made up with. Can't really see them, just turn lights on for you. There you go, that's better. And I think one of them's going to be a Czech, by the looks of it. But still, lovely birds. And then, in here, I've got these two, and these are getting transferred over today. So we're going to put these over the other side with the rest of the young birds. But I've got a little surprise for you so all, and hopefully, hopefully they'll be doing it now, like, but I've got a little surprise. Let me go scroll through here. Come on, how do I come? Let's get this water, fill the water up in here as well. You might have a little surprise in here, but that's one of my young birds, and he's perching. And I'm absolutely buzzing with them all. They're all perching. I think that's another one. Yeah, that one's perching. So my young birds are there. They come on. Yeah, there's another one on the box. Another one there on the box. So they are flying around. I even caught one in the trap this morning. So we're getting there. And then we've got the rest on the floor here. 
with a bit of straw down on a board. Fresh straw, keep putting it in, make sure it's clean. And then, just last and but least, in this side, I've got two little young ones here as well. Just coming on, don't like the light. But, they're coming on well as well. But I won't have to transfer these over, these should come on quicker than the rest because they're over this side anyway. <coughs> so, um, as I said, I've got some lovely young birds here. Off all my pigeons. Can't wait till racing season. But what I'm going to concentrate on now is I'm going to concentrate on getting the birds, the hens ready for racing, getting them transferred over. And then I need to get the cocks ready for racing and get them transferred over. They'll be staying in there, the cocks on this section. Hens will be going over to the far section and the young birds will be staying in here with the trap. So we are getting there. Next few weeks, hopefully, I should be able to transfer them over. Two, three weeks, four weeks tops. And then we can start getting them ready for training. A few tosses around the house, a few tosses. And away we go. So yeah, just a quick video for today. Thanks for everyone for supporting the channel up to now. I'm made up with all the progress I'm getting on and all the comments. And just anyone gets a little bit of a advice from these videos, I'm made up. But as I said, transfer all the birds over. And the hens do a really good job looking after them. And I haven't had any problems up to now. So, made up. A little tip for you there in itself. That's one of your beard. No, it's not. It's all beard. Right, just gonna give these some water. Make sure it's cleaned. Not in it. The straw keeps getting in this. No, it's just. Birds are drinking by themselves as well, which are made up of bombs. Right, but anyway, guys, quick video, and I'll see, see you all again soon. Like, subscribe if you like the videos, and I'll see you again. Bye bye. For now. Right, just before the go, as you can see, the young birds are feeding now in the feeder with the old birds. I am going to get a new feeder next week or the or through the week now. When as soon as I get a bit of free time, I'm going to get up the shop, get myself a new feeder, um, and put two feeders down in here because obviously it's getting a bit crowded the feeder now. But they are really having a go the young birds as you can see. Also, guys, a little tip: if you've got struggling with birds that are blinking and they're blinking all the time, especially the young birds. Make sure that you're dipping the reds in the water. Make sure you do know where the water is. I just dip the reds in a few times a day, every day, just to get them used to knowing where it is. Um, but that's a good little tip I can give you. But as you can see, everything's going well in the loft. Young birds are feeding well. Some of them better than others. But we're getting there in the end. But thanks for watching. Thanks for showing the support. Thanks for everyone who's liking and commenting and subscribing.